joint though. Are we gonna switch to computers? Mm -hmm. so this is on Facebook. This is on Skype. Right now. Hi. Can you hear me? Share your screen. Turn the camera on. You gotta put the volume up. Camera. Right here? Yeah. There you are. Hi. Can you hear me? My speakers are off. Is something plugged into the computer that's taking it? That taking the audio? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, Carrie. <laughs> okay. Hello? I think you should switch the computers because we're going to be talking on to it here through that computer. Yeah, but can you hear me? You can hear me. Okay. Um, so she said, yes, we can hear you and they can see me. We can't hear them. C can you call into the radio station, please? We need, we need you to call into the radio station on the regular phone. Show them on that camera. Show them on the Skype camera. Hello? Try the mute button. Okay, we're past that. All right, I I hear a nice echo. <laughs> yeah, so Carrie, um, mute your Skype. Oh yeah, you have to mute your Skype and use a headphone. So that you can't hear us through Skype and you can hear us through the phone. Is giving us feedback. Yeah, but my Skype is not giving us any audio. So that's coming from me. But you can hear me, right, on Skype, right? Right, so you have to mute your Skype so that we don't hear us from yeah. your phone. Mute, 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 m
No, there's nothing playing in the room here. It's not from us. Yeah, yeah there's no not. audio being produced by either computer here. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're hearing you through the telephone. Yeah, then we can't conduct the interview. Yes, yes, there's, yes, uh, I don't hear. Yes. The echo is coming from your guys' laptop, and it's only our audio. So, your, right. so from your end, you need to mute. So yeah, that some, you can't so, hear someone on your end needs to put on headphones and, <laughs> um, and mute the sound. You will hear us through the phone. You just have to meet from Skype. Yes, but but I, I'm only sending out. There's nothing. There's nothing re, uh, playing in here. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Are we talking this Skype via Skype into the radio or the phone? We have to look up on a different computer and then uh, ours is audio. That's fine. That's fine. Is there another phone? Now we can Is it still? Yes, it's still an echo. Hmm. But your video looks great, Carrie. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Rivera. Yeah, it's great. Over there, spinning over there, We're in the information age. Hi to everybody on Facebook. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, we're not really uh, paying attention to you guys. <laughs>
scrubbing. I think since we're going to be talking from to that laptop, that I should switch. It's going to be two the wires. One's plugged in over here, one's plugged in back there. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, look, no feedback. Okay, perfect. So now I will let Carrie hear. Yeah, we hear you fine. Wow, it sounds really no, clear. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little loud. How about now? Is there any feedback? But you can you can still hear me, right? You can hear me now, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't have video. We we're, we're just looking at her in the studio here. Right, I'm already here, exactly. This is beautiful. Hold on one second. Hold on. Wait, uh, my video is still projecting from here. To Karen. Ah, uh, got you, got you, got you. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. Now we're ready to film, see. We Yes. <laughs> Born ready. Great. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I was just making sure that we were queued up over here as well. I'm sorry. So let me know when you are I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I've calmed down now. Okay. So in three to one, count in your head. 10 seconds and then you start talking, Carrie. First, let, let Carrie start first. Start talking, Devin starts talking. Oh, Devin starts talking. Yes. Devin, don't have to score All right. Yes. So I say three, two, one, and then count 10 seconds and then start talking. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hello, this is Biomed RX Radio. I am your host, Devin Lockett, and my lovely daughter, Katie. Hello. And uh, today we have a very special guest, uh, Miss Carrie Rivera. Um, Carrie, how are you? Hi, Devin. I can see you. I'm fine. Thank you. 
Fine, fine. It's great to have you back. Um, you, you've been on a couple of our shows before, and uh, unfortunately, those shows were only a half hour long. Now we have a full hour, and and you know, I could think of no one better to invite back uh, for our show than than you. Um, it's good to hear you. No, thank you. No, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to introduce you to my daughter, Katie. Really? Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and what might those things be, by the way? Well, recently, um, I guess not recently, you know, it takes time to sort of come up with ideas and things of how, how to really help people heal their children. And one of the things that I've always found to be difficult because I'm a parent of a child who died from autism is that long, treacherous, expensive, uh, non productive road that we seem to always hit. And it just seems to me like some of these things could be done much cheaper or much easier to find if they could be either under one roof or with a price that would fit. So I spoke with a couple partners of mine and I said, What do you guys think about possibly doing some products? You know, these really high quality, but like strikes really into the market and of course things that are really going to make a difference. Because it's really stuff that doesn't work anymore. When I wrote my book four years ago, one of the things that really struck me was things that are no longer working, like the supplements, those things like GABA, carnage, carnage, just like the speech supplements we used to do. We used to get a lot of bang for the buck that back in the days when I had a biomedical clinic in 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was kind of when those things were still, still working. But now it doesn't seem that those things are working anymore. Do you, do you think they've been weakened by the, uh, by the factories? You think they've been weakened by the manufacturer? You think the products have been weakened by the manufacturers? No, I actually think the opposite has changed. And one of the interviews that I did with Dr. Stephanie Sennett back in November, which is glad you so people can see it, um, it looks like autism has changed. Of course, the toxicity level has changed. You know, the fluoride monitor that was taking up, you know, glutathione and other things is the body, GABA, uh, taurine, all these things are totally affected. So, this is you know, when you give them, the kids, instead of getting caught home from GABA, get hyper because it's not going in the right place. Wow. So those are the stop working. So what really got, what, you know, started to resonate with me when I was working with families and seeing what was working, all the detoxifying things, the charcoal, the beds and the ice, the, you know, these kind of things were really making a difference in the kids. It was helping to remove the toxins out of the body. Yes. Because the typical ways were not working. And of course, as always, getting rid of the pathogens, killing the pathogens, because once you kill the pathogens, you have a whole lot less oxidative stress in the body and every other thing that, that's going wrong. You know, and of course, when you when you have uh, too much uh, toxin in the body, it's producing all kinds of inflammation, that's the cytokines. So a lot of things are just not working because of that, all that inflammation in the body. So what I started to do when I, I was watching this uh, modified ketogenic diet that I'm promoting, and so of course I kind of came up with a kitchen name called Keto Carry. So I opened a Facebook group with it, with a bit, basically just a recipe group, you know, a bunch of like 4,000 moms and those are figuring out what we're going to eat tonight. But it's all modified ketogenic. So it's not a true ketogenic diet, but it's basically kind of unlimited complex carbohydrates, but getting rid of all the simple carbohydrates, none of the, the sugars and none of the, the grains, those kind of things. And this, this diet is online? This diet is online, you said? A recipe, a recipe group on, online, Great. and then of course the book is coming out, and, and of course the products. And one of the things that we did was we came up with the, the C8 oil. I don't know if you can see this. I don't have a little video, but anyway, C8 oil. Very hard, hard to find C8. You can pretty much just find the MCC oil, but not the C8. The C8 is like instant ketones, and of course it is neuroprotective. You know, anti seizure. It's, it's of course the mitochondrial function. You know, it has so many things of these like keywords for like autism recovery, you know, like the mitochondrial issues and then, you know, these kind of things, the super food. And again, you know, nice. working with the brain, so it's going to start healing the brain and increasing uh, lunathion production. You know, this is something we're doing with basically a food supplement that we're using. So that, of course, was like the kind of the, the, the center to what we were doing. And it's great for inflammation and it's great for, uh, you know, anything from autism to AD, AD2. So we can add these in sometimes like skinny little failure to thrive kids do really great. They get increased calories, but of course they're they're calories for them, not calories for their pathogens. So I have a lot of parents who say, well, if I give a lot of potatoes and rice and corn and beans and this kind of stuff, then my kids gonna get big, fat, you know, little skinny kids because they're just a failure to thrive. 
definitely don't. Those kids don't do well in carbohydrates. It's just to get some good food. You mm-hmm. gotta get some healthy fats like the C A oil, for example. That's gonna make a big difference. Nuts and seeds are really good because they have some mm-hmm. good fat and then they have some good protein and then and like and macadamia nuts for instance. I think six or seven of those you got hundred calories. So these little kids we can get them right up into their, their appropriate calories for their age and they usually do really well. But again, this is a diet to take down inflammation, to heal the brain, heal the yes. yes. So we're not feeding the pathogens anymore. So this is sort of like the, the idea that I have behind where I want to go with. Now, now, Carrie, Carrie, be, be, before we go, before we go further, um, tell my audience um, how they can find out more about you and more about the program online. Um, well, I have a, a the, the, this website that has the, the Keto Carry product, Keto Carry, Keto Carry, we don't have that anywhere. Keto Carry dot com. Okay, then. Keto Carry dot com. CDAutism.com, yes. so clear that's a fact that is a fact and that is a testament to, to your protocol chondroitin sulfate yes chondroitin sulfate yes mm-hmm. Just for the audience, uh, GC Math is Group Component Macrophage Activating Factor, and uh, it is a very, very good. Um, I don't know what do you call it. It's, it's, it's a good aid to the to the um, immune system. Um, it helps us fight cancer and yes. Yes. Exactly. Your T cells, your macrophages. Yes. Like, you know, maybe you know, 
we're using like three milliliters a day. Well, let's say the bottle is three milliliters a day. I mean, yeah, it was three milliliters and you're using one in a day. That's up to six hundred dollars a day. I don't know a lot of people that have a budget to handle that. So anyway, so we'll, so we'll make the exact same product, it's the same, you know, same premise in everything. It's that it's a, it's a sourced and bottled in the United States. So good <coughs> product, good background, and it's all up and up and everything. So we started using it. Well, the same thing started happening. It started talking. It started calming down. So it is working with your immune system. So not only is the price point perfect, but we're actually having you know this, this awakening of your own immune system. So again, it's your body healing itself. So it isn't really like we're coming along to do something. And again, it, it could be cancer. So if you it can induce detox for cancer cells and these reduces inflammation. One second. One second. Okay. Looks like, looks like we're coming up on the first end, uh, end of our first section. Um, we'll be back with more with uh, Kerry Rivera after these messages. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's rebooting Windows right now. Yeah, sorry, Kerry. Um, um, our, in one of our computers here, the one that had the clock uh, crashed at about one minute and 24 seconds. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So what are we doing right again? No, uh, we, uh, uh, the uh, yeah, this, the next segment started. Right now, this is where the first commercials are playing. So now we have four sections instead of two. I just wanted to say hi, uh, Carrie. This is my daughter, Katie. Hi. Hi, I'm good. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. OK. Okay. Okay. So oh, yeah. <laughs> stop. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do have fun here. No, well, I'm not hearing any. Are you guys hearing any um, feedback? So, Carrie, for our second segment, I was going to ask you, um, I was going to give you like maybe a few questions, but one of them would be what do you think is the next step for the um, healing autism field? Okay. Okay. So you said, it, yeah. So you said twelve minutes and eleven forty-five. Okay, I'll keep it. I keep it. I I'll for eleven forty-five. Yeah. But Carrie, I just wanted to tell you that question. Is that okay? You can ask me anything. Okay. Nice. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Good. So cool. We'll lead in with that. <laughs> All right. So you guys ready? Okay. We're back with more high-tech holistic healthcare solutions on Biomed RX Radio. I'm your host, Devin Lockett, and I have my co-host, my lovely daughter, Katie. Hi, everyone. And today we are interviewing Ms. Kerry Rivera, a renowned author and autism specialist. Uh, she's the author of Healing the Symptoms Known as Autism. And um, I think, uh, uh, Katie, you want to ask Carrie something? Yeah. Um, Carrie, by the way, it's very nice to meet you. I've seen your testimonials. I've seen your testimonials online um, with all the children with autism who you've helped and cured and, you know, reversed and everything like that. And I think it's great what you do. Um, I wanted to ask you, what do you think is your next step? is the next step for the autism reversing field. Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm excited. It's very nice to meet you and nice to be here with you and your dad. Mm -hmm. um, I really think, as I was just mentioning before, I think that we can kind of, you know, autism has changed, like Dr. Sennett was showing us, uh, autism has changed again. So when it changes, we have to adjust. So we have to get into things that help the body to detoxify itself. So just like uh, Dr. Robbie Mitchell, I don't know if he was on your dad recently, and he has some really nice products. And one of the things he says is once you get, you know, you kill down the triggers 
and, and of course you don't have the cytokines causing the inflammation or you don't have this whole illness mm -hmm. that's going on anymore. And the body, the immune system is trying to heal itself. So, you know, we use uh, one of the things that I've started to use also with my kids, um, they're working with like rodent enzymes, which is a fabulous enzyme. And of course, you know, the first line of defense is going to be your hydrochloric acid, just like the stomach acid. And of course, that's going to kill all pathogens. A lot of parents tell me, oh, I think my kids keep getting reinfected. Well, guess what? You got a alkaline stomach acid, or, you know, not so acid stomach acid. All of a sudden, all the pathogens are getting past the getting past the uh, the drawbridge. Right. So they're getting in. Right. And so this is really one of the you can kind of go back to basics. You know, we're living in a pathogen related world. Is it bad? It's just in. Yes, it's not a safe place to live anymore. Not for kids. Right. And I mean, that's what it is. We've got to use better stuff, smarter stuff. It's kind of like these all around, like neuroprotective, mitochondria, you know, anti inflammatory. So then we got the black seed oil from Dr. Uh, Dr. Robbie Mitchell as well, which is fabulous. It's like, you know, killing like a thousand birds in one stone. And like, it, like the Prophet Muhammad said, it cures everything but death. So, so long as we're alive, we can just take, you know, one or two tablespoons every single day. And of course, it's anti-cancer, anti-fungal, antivirals, and you know, anti-everything, and it's pro health. So even if it's a skin thing, you put it right on the skin thing. And then again, of course, it's the, the chondroitin sulfate. Again, your macrophage activator, what does this do? It does everything. It's, you know, infl inflammation in everywhere, brain inflammation. So that's why, again, kids, talk, kids are talking. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. They're getting them, they're posting on Facebook. And so the guy's like, what are you doing? And they say, do you have to do that? Or do you need to do that? Or do you need to do that? Seed oil, yes. Something that also interests me is the diet that you um, encourage for children with autism. And part of that is withholding gluten from their diet. Can you tell us why that's important? Well, the gluten and casein are the protein. Food is the, the protein in wheat, and casein is the protein in dairy. And they go basically slightly, slightly digested, or they basically undigested. So they're actually getting through that, that, that intestinal wall that is now and getting into the bloodstream which will travel into the brain and form basically glutamorphine and caseomorphine. So it, it's a loopy. I remember when my child was very young and if he had autism, we didn't know what was going on and you know, he was eating loopy and pace and all that stuff. And he would fall down and his knee would be bleeding and, and he oh, would look like a yes. get up and keep losing. You're like, wow, that's that really strong. But he was 
Wow. personally can't get enough avocado.
Definitely, definitely. Wait, wait, wait. Um, let's talk about it after the break. We're coming up on another commercial break. The time flies when we're having fun. And uh, we'll be back after these messages with more Kerry Rivera. Great. All right, hold on one second. <laughs> well, actually, after the first half, I'm supposed to be. Ready? We're back with more high tech holistic healthcare solutions at Biomed RX Radio. I am your host, Devin Lockett, and my lovely co host, my daughter, Katie. Hey, everyone. And uh, we are uh, interviewing Ms. Kerry Rivera, renowned author and autism specialist. And uh, Kerry, I believe before the uh, break, we were talking about uh, some authors and some books that you recommend. Actually, yes, this book was recommended to me by Dr. Roby Mitchell, and he is the one that came out with, again, this uh, Robin sign, which I guess the on, which has the hydrochloric acid. It's the same thing that's found in our stomach acid, and he basically started all of this around, he was uh, working around this, this Dr. Dr. Wright. So he recommended this book, Why Stomach Acid was written by Dr. Wright. It is fascinating reading, and of course, when you start to look at what's on you know, why we're low in B vitamins. You know, a lot of the doctors say, well, you have low B vitamins, so why don't I want to see if they're low in B vitamins? It's just that simple. So when you read the book and you start to see what's going on, it has to do with because that's the process when you have good hydrochloric acid, good stomach acid, that's the part where your, your, your body is getting it out and you're able to utilize it at this point. But if it's not coming out, we're going to be low in B vitamins. So one of the ways that we can even know that we're Taking uh, uh, you know MMS or chlorine dioxide, isn't it also good uh, if you have uh, acids in your stomach, or like if you're doing it on an empty on an empty stomach? on your digestive enzymes. Got you.
uh, the, the liquid product is different. You know, kind of but still, so we ask it before we take it. And the reason why that is taken on the stomach is because there's a better chance of finding the pathogen. It's very weak. So if you take it with a bunch of food, it's just going to die when it hits the food. So, yes. It's so sensitive when you're taking it like that. But it, it just depends on the, the type of the protocol. But, and there's so many things that we can add to autism that really you know wasn't available even last year. Things that you know Health Center was restored last year, but a lot of these things were not even being utilized until now. So I think that this is you know like Katie was asking, you know, like what's going on with autism? What's the new stuff? How can we you know get get ahead? Basically, how can we make this better and autism recovery right. faster? Right. I believe that these are some of the products, and that's why this is on your point, Ruth. One of the cool things that we're doing for our, our friends south of the border is there's now a company that's dedicating to exporting into Latin America, which has been really a drain on families. I have worked principally in Latin America for the last since 2006, 2007. And it's very difficult to get products. If you can, you got to pay you know, through the nose, through the customs agent who just you know charges you whatever he wants to charge you that day. You know, you're desperate if your product is there or they don't let it in because you don't have 18,000 pieces of paperwork and this kind of stuff. So that's not happening anymore. So with the products here, the other ones that people might be interested in, in, in getting into Latin America, we're more than happy to help. And that's one of the cool things about like Dr. Mitchell's uh, products as well. I, I really want these to be available to people that have really high quality products without having to pay through the nose to get something of a much lesser quality that won't do the same job. And again, I just think these are all things that are, you know, the, the price really well, and, um, you know, I, I've spent so much money on uh, autism recovery over the last 14 years, that you just think, oh my gosh, it's crazy. And now they're actually things that are not expensive, and you get like, like I'm saying, kids are talking, it's 59 bucks, kids are talking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so cool, or like my, my high school kids are calm, or, or my more aggressive kids that I've lived with, that have had with stress, and they're, they're not being so aggressive, they're able to focus more like the good science. And everything. So yes. it isn't just one thing. And then my mom, you know, one of the things that I noticed a lot more energy, you know, they'll say, ah, I have so much energy. And one of my moms, she was a really good friend of mine, she was like, I barely have any sleep I don't feel great. You know, so yeah. you know, it's just, it gets on inflammation and you know, your body, your music is working and, and, and everything is a supercharge. But wow. you know, you're not hyper, you're just really, you're healthy. Yeah, healthy and happy. Yes, exactly. This is what's important. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, can you give us a little bit of uh, of your history? Because uh, I wanted to kind of recap the things that we covered in the earlier shows. And uh, you know, and 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 tell us about your journey and and what got you into autism recovery. My son was diagnosed with autism in 2004, and that was uh, I was living in Mexico, and so they were like, "Oh, nothing you can do, just you know, go get some therapy." And then I saw these people that were supposed to get some therapy, and my kid, oh man, we're in bad shape. Yeah. So, um, so that was when uh, a woman came in, came into my life. She had a friend, and she knows about biomed or whatever, and no idea what that was. And then they explained, you know, the whole vaccine thing. And I thought, that was why my son was so perfect when he was so not perfect. You know, and he just went out real quick. Yes. Um, I, I went to see, you know, a school of different uh, Dan, math, biomedical doctors, and, and lots of supplements and lots of mediocre diet and lots of injectables and medicines and all this kind of stuff. And you know, at the end of the day, he was, you know, mediocre. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and of course, there was a big praying session. I had prayed one day. I really just had the clinic was open. I'm going to hide the station, hide the bed, zero feedback, supplements, you name it. There was everything going on in the clinic. Mm. And, but, you know, there wasn't the word recovery. You know, like, what about recovery? I thought I was recoverable. And then, um, you know, there's a couple of kids that, you know, pretty much came around. But, and then I just went there. Yeah, I just prayed. I said, Am I close the clinic or, you know, or is there going to be something that's really going to be able to cure for everybody no matter how much money they have? Because I was, you know, 7,000 the latest things were supposed to be not really do anything when they're so expensive. Yes. Or, you, know, you keep thinking the most, the most common is going to be the most expensive thing, but it's not because of, I believe that, that this world is not that cruel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Recovery is for everybody. And in Venezuela, we had 28 recoveries. And there was a whole budget going on over there. I mean, we had a lot of recovery. That's 
thirty back there. But anyway, mm-hmm. so the prayer was that and I sort of remembered about some rocks that I had bought a year prior that were just out in my library. So I went, I activated them, I started Google searching, you know, for virus, for bacteria, for candy all those kind of things. So I saw this historian back that basically the sports star reading it was autism. Mm-hmm. And I started giving it to my son and after a week my son was back. Wow. wow. Over him for the last, you know, eight years of his life. That's a good feeling. Jim Humble, yes. I'd like to have him on the show one day. Pardon? I'd like to have Jim on the show one day. Thank you. This is right after only one week, right? Sorry, and I know this is a bad spot, but let's pick up right where you are after these messages. <laughs> We're coming up on another commercial break. We're going to be back with more from Carrie Rivera uh, and Biomed RX Radio after these messages. Great. That's good. Sorry about that. Hold on a second. <laughs> I am 20 years old. Really? You're tiny though, aren't you? Uh, kind of. 5'5". Five, five. I just, I, I look super... Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Let me make a restroom run. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, yeah, people tell me all the time that I look 16 or 15 or something. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm 20. I think it's my age like that. Yeah. How old's your brother? Uh, Kai, he's uh, 11. Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing the diet, diet, stuff like that with him for years and years? Or? Um, for, a few, for a few years, actually, yeah, I think since he was really little. But yeah, yeah, he's doing good. He's uh, oh, yeah. eye contact and um. He looks great in the photo. Yeah, he's yeah, he's doing good with eye contact. He's doing good with expressing himself and things like that. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. I love the kickboxing squat. You know, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's doing good. ready i'm ready all right we're back with more high-tech holistic healthcare solutions on biomed rx radio i'm your host devin lockett and i have my lovely daughter katie hi everyone as the co-host and we're talking to carrie rivera renowned autism specialist and author and uh, carrie you were just in the middle of talking about uh, your story question I actually used to be a vegan for a really long time and I wanted to know do you think that mint like um, minimum like having minimum of meat and maybe no meat at all in a child with autism's diet would be better okay okay Protein. 
Yeah. And you don't have to be vegan. And I, you know, I even work with people that don't eat really much meat. They can eat some fish or, um, you know, of course, that's, that's uh, an animal. But right, like, right. Work with people that don't eat so much meat, like red meat, red meat or chicken. Yeah. And, you know, a couple of people have some eggs here and there. But again, if you keep your fat high, you can keep your fat high, mm-hmm. your nuts and your seeds. Your healthy you fats. Know, so many kids and I'm sure the number's probably gotten to over four hundred kids by now, right? Three eighty nine. Wow. Wow. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. You know, speaking of your book, I just wanted to get this out here, um, out there. Uh, For those of you who are interested, please look up Healing the Symptoms Known as Autism uh, by Kerry Rivera. And uh, I believe uh, Mr. Jim Humble and uh, Dr. Andreas Kulker also have uh, credits for me as well. Yes. Very good. find your testimonial videos on S on C D autism dot org? They're on C D autism but a lot of stuff is on YouTube, you know. Okay.
a lot of parents don't come out and talk about it. And I even have a mom, uh, there's a couple of videos on right now, her name is Valeria, and she recovered her son from Hannah, which is that pediatric stress. And that mm-hmm. was causing the kids to be very violent, very aggressive. Wow. And definitely does work and and you know uh, I know it's I know it's controversial but it also works for grown-ups and for people who don't have autism it works on a lot of uh, conditions I highly recommend you know, uh, everyone in the audience to do their own research uh, well we're coming up on the end of our show and once again it's been a wonderful show thank you very much Carrie uh, it was great having you again thank you for being here <laughs> thank you both for having me it's always a pleasure to be with you and the time always goes so fast Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. And we want everyone to tune in next week for more high tech, holistic healthcare solutions with Biomed RX Radio. Be healthy. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye now. Woohoo. Another great show. Thank that was you. That good. I liked it. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was great. It was. Perfect. So, okay, I also will uh, you guys are done, I can finish and then I edit yes. uh, with the names. Uh, okay, I didn't quite get the name of your daughter. Katie, K-A-Y-D-E-E. K-A-Y-D-E-E. Okay. So, okay. Um, I will edit and then I send the link to YouTube to all of you. And it was great also to meet you. Thank you. It was great meeting you too. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Carrie. You guys have a wonderful evening and a wonderful night. Thank you. Bye bye. And thanks to everybody out there on Facebook. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Oh, that was fun. It was. I liked that. Mm-hmm.